Emergency crews in Gaza's southern city of Rafah have worked through the night to recover the remains of Palestinians killed in an Israeli strike. At least 35 people were killed in the attack, which targeted a tent camp near a UN building. <laughs> many of the dead and injured, women and children. The Palestinian Red Crescent says people were burned alive in their tents. The injured are being treated in overwhelmed and under-equipped hospitals. In Greenfield, Ohio, the trees no longer have leaves. Instead, the remnants of people's homes hang from the broken branches. This was the leafy farming community before the deadly tornado hit. And after, it carved a path of destruction through this town, killing four people and hurting at least 35 more. In Cook County, Texas, near the Oklahoma border, seven people, including two children, were killed when a tornado plowed through a rural area near a mobile home park. Hundreds are believed to still be buried under the mud after a massive landslide struck the region on Friday, with some boulders as big as shipping containers hitting homes. It happened at night when many were fast asleep. The main road leading to the village is now blocked, hampering relief efforts. Villagers, some of them in bare feet, use shovels, axes and other makeshift tools to search for loved ones. The landslide hit several villages in Enga province, some 600 kilometres northwest of the capital, Port Moresby. Continued hazards, such as falling rocks and shifting ground, are also threatening rescue efforts. Huge black smoke plumes filled the sky as a massive fire gutted a gaming zone in Rajkot on Sunday. Tens of people were burned to death, including children who were playing on the first floor. Several people are still missing and bodies of the dead are hard to identify. More than 300 people were in the three-story temporary structure when the blaze started. Meanwhile, in another tragedy in Delhi, several infants died of suffocation following a fire in a newborn baby care centre. Twelve newborns were carried to a nearby hospital from the centre as the fire broke out. But only few survived and are being treated for smoke inhalation. Another satellite launch warning by North Korea was issued early on Monday. Japan's Coast Guard received an email from the North that it plans to launch an artificial satellite between Monday and June 4th. Pyongyang also gave notice of three locations of potential danger following the launch. The projectile will likely fall in one of three places, two of which are in the southwestern area of the West Sea and one in the Pacific Ocean east of the Philippines. The Ministry of Unification also told reporters on Monday such a satellite launch is a clear violation of a UN Security Council resolution that bans all missile launches using ballistic missile technologies. President Emmanuel Macron has arrived in Germany for the first state visit by a French head of state in 24 years. The three-day trip is meant to underline the strong ties between France and Germany. The visit was originally meant to take place last July, but was postponed due to rioting in France after a teenage boy was killed by French police. While Macron frequently visits Germany, as Berlin and Paris coordinate their positions on the EU and foreign policy. But this is the first state visit with full pomp since Jacques Chirac came in 2000.